get and rant. When you get to court, you find out that your mouth will be mumbling. After this night, sir, sorry, you need to permit us to do what we know how to do best. Grand community, I don't want to keep my organ waiting. But let me finalize by saying, most back, I told us that this project is 98% spiritual and 2% physical. We took a very long journey to investigate this whole story. From document, name, funds, and everything. And we have the result on our palms. Forget the mumbo jumbo there. We pretended not to know anything and walk behind the scene. And people want to know. Everybody is calling. Obi Wabu have not seen the hand of monkey. Esteemed CEOs up to now have not seen the hand of monkey. The hand I've seen is the hand of tribal or Judah. The hand I've seen is the hand. Embrace discipline. You have seen the truth outside there. We don't want anybody to be to be to be to be looked at as a stranger. Personally, I want all the CEO to help me. Send a message to Abdul Razak, AGPGM president, and his executives. Tell him Obi Wan Wo said. Give me chance. I know some people will talk to me, why do I need this consolation? Sorry, Grant may have taken so many ministers' ministry, but mine is still intact. The Bible says pray for your enemies. I am the greatest enemy that AGPGN is seeing till today. The reason, they cannot tell you. But please send a message to them. Some of you here, my name is Mwabuob, a child that separates fights. I'm not answering that name for nothing. I can amend this. If they allow me in one week time, there will be celebration. I rest my case as I plead with my Oga to forgive me for keeping him waiting. But finally, I must not fail to urge the following persons. Adiminelis, Ulu Gideon, all well, UD Francis. Believe you me, my pictures and other pe people's pictures you are placing and, and tagging them on social media. Believe you me, you won't like me. But I pray. I pray that you don't provoke my lega, my lega knowledge. But I still have my arms open. I still have my arms open. And I will watch. Gentlemen and ladies, I want to tell you. Thank you. God, who knows the heart of the man in our midst who cries in the night in the day in the morning without you seeing his tears will do his best to give us this money what is important is the money any ceo that is still listening to voice note that is not saying disbursement needs deliverance thank you very much and god bless you your excellency I welcome you to the mic tonight. You have barely almost 2,000 plus participants in this um, official interaction. I've already told them questions will be allowed. So you have the floor now. God bless you, sir. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The humble and exalted CEOs, your time on a short notice like this. I call for this meeting to put things straight. And I know that we are in Miss Multitude. And I know that some of you here, what I may be.
you say is what you want to hear. But I need you to lend me your ear for record purposes. For you to be an a CEO, one thing is straight, you are not a boy. You are a man, an adult. An adult, so you must reason like an adult. I started this very work from a very clean slate. And I know as I'm talking here, some of you are already analyzing and and ready to translate my languages to languages. And I like to let you know that that is not my problem as of now. My issue here is to talk to, because no matter what, a lot of you are diligent and durable and educated. And so, I never intend to speak to you the what you want to hear comes to your your excellency. Your line is bad. Your network is bad. Your network is bad, sir. Can you log out and log in, sir? All right. Okay, I think uh, I should start afresh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once again, I want to welcome every one of you. Thank you for your perseverance all this while. And I'm talking to CEOs of various organizations who are partnering with us in this UAG grant. First of all, I want to appreciate you for your patience. I know this is not what you want to hear now because your eyes is on the ball. You want to hear about this movement. And I came your way this evening on emergency based on the hula palo that just got a few days ago. You people know that I'm not the talking type and I don't like talking. But I found myself in the midst of a, something I never bargain for, but I'm prepared for it by God. I am a man that doesn't like it, so that I respect myself. You can't see me doing nonsense things that careless people may do. Because I need to respect myself, I don't like it. But I come to grand community at this point in time, become like Jesus. There was a time everybody singing praises of Apostle Ken. All of a sudden, the whole thing changed. The same people that said, that shouted Hosanna and said, crucify him. I'm not afraid of That's the price of a leader. If a leader goes, goes up and down, keep on going where he's going. One thing I want to remind you people today, I'm just a man on a mission. From the reception of this very grand that call itself UAG. I never tell anybody that I have a grant and I, I went for a grant. You all, if you want to be sincere and truthful to yourself, you know the beginning. It is some people who are now persecuting me that went out to find the root cause of this very grant. In my way of doing things, I don't run from pillar to post. They find out that, yes, they found out this is this. I spent my money. I spent a lot of money. I need to know what this is all about before I get myself involved. Fortunately, the people that encourage me say it is true. We found the document. Your name is there. And now the same people saying different things. And I came in. With, an, with the spirit of a servant to, to serve. To serve Nigeria, my country. To make sure that things work well. I put in everything within my capacity. And then all along the way, I came out on 9th of March, 2023. Under the leadership of stakeholders. 
announce and bring in data. We're not going to use the data of another NGO. Hell we are let loose from external forces. And many people here stood with me. We fought the battle until God bring it where we can preach. But right when we are about to stretch our hand, the battle turn around from the inside. I did my best to stop it. I called everyone I can call within the center of the problem. Now I want to make some things right. All grand pressure groups under the leadership of Abdul, Abdul is like my own brainchild. They are very close to me. They are like sons. They are like junior brothers. We are working. But only God knows what is in the heart of a man. And they were giving me encouragement we were going along. And then, I remember one day, they told me, God has answered our prayer. We find a door to get to these things. We all went together. The negotiation started after we have wasted money from different channels. And we saw this very rich channel. I had a conspiracy, an event note calling Samuel Abbasi as extortioner, as all kinds of things. Ladies and gentlemen, he is not working on himself. He has his bosses with him, his team. They are the people who came to help, and we found truth in them. They didn't charge us money like other things we have put out there before. But they said they are going to help us get this thing out. We decide whatever to appreciate them. There was no negotiation. There was no, no issue of any payment. For somebody now to come and talk about and mentioning somebody's name, it's men and women are busy people. They introduce Samuel Abbasi to us as the person communicating us and reporting to them and they're holding meetings sending him back to us. I don't want to set the community on fire. There are things I will say with evidences. Forget about all the way that is backing like a hungry lion. Everything he said, he was not there. If Nigerians are sensible and men that reason well, few days ago they celebrated their victory according to them, turning me to Southeast Coordinator. Nobody challenged them. All of a sudden, you turn and back in like a wounded lion. I think there's something you are not telling Nigerians you had. Winners don't make noise. It's always losers that make noise looking for reason why they lose. I was quiet, even as a coordinator. I didn't say anything because I have learned in my leadership all my life to lay out to be under authority. And as far as this grant is concerned, I am under authority too. These are people who come to rescue me. Samuel Lambasi did not collect 20 million, 40 million, whatever from me. There was nothing like that. Somebody who was not everything he was saying, if you listen, he was saying what he was told. He just said somebody who had been brainwashed and turned to be a slave. He's talking like he's on his own. He was set like a robot to go and run. So I want to tell you people, all those things was rubbish. This group that is helping us now did not collect such money from me. I did not pay Abbasi. I did not give him any money to save for me. They have done everything to get me out of the point. But you can bring down a man who you raise up 
not somebody that God will raise up. In all they do, it doesn't work. They now come to creatures everywhere. After their celebration, ask them two days ago they were celebrating. Is there any other meeting that has happened between me and them or between the 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 the, 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 the committee helping us? No other meeting. That means they have something they, they are hiding they need to tell Nigerians. But that is that to that. My involvement in the grant, all of you know, is through St. Rita, who include my name. And the husband misunderstood me and fought me, but I think there's no issue between me and him. We didn't understand ourselves. That's why I've not done offensive to anybody. I've only been on a defensive way. And I'm a man that God's hand is upon, if you don't know. I want to use this opportunity, having made this in straight, to tell you, Abbas did not collect money from me. Abbas did not turn anything against them. Rather, he was fully following protocol. I don't want to do scatter the whole community. If not, I know what to do. That had, that had kept us where we are, but God will settle that. And I like to give you. Uh, this was to look at because every time people are jumping up with a threat, collected money, that the 5K we paid. Let me announce to you that every record of that money that entered my hand is documented by my accounting. The reasonable authority want to see how it goes, I will present it. The 10K we pre with, I, I asked earlier before 35 to pay for this to, for the app and do so many things and logistics the record is there and this 35k you all knows what happened between me us and paystack when paystack started paying some have been discovered they couldn't pay when we discover there is need for verification, so that we can be able to go for the main grant, whatever it is. The stakeholders come together, that 5K that came cannot do anything. The stakeholders came together, agreed to borrow money. If I will mention name, KBB run from pillar to post to help borrow money. We are looking for work and borrow 1.150 million to run the verification. When it was impossible, we came together, so let's approach the CEOs. Many of you knew what I'm saying. You borrowed us money, some, let us say it is just forget about it. But it was borrowed that added, this person will return back your money. Before you know it, accusation again. And I, I, I made up to 400 million, some say billion. And I bought four houses in Guadalupe. Where I'm living in Guadalupe, I packed in there by June. Anything about that money happened between October. Maybe I think within October. But I'm very, very sorry having learned and I'm working in the mix of people who are reasoning and not in my own level. So many of them. I'm not saying all. When they see one, they make it 200. All the things we're saying that were saying against me, I didn't bother. Until recently. The reason I came here is to let you know, Nigerian community, if you really, we really want money, we should learn to behave matured. This money or this fund should have been disbursed late last year. Just nearly, it couldn't come. By January, instead of disbursement, the hidden hearts of men were revealed. 
I never know that people claiming to be helping me are fighting to snatch the grant and be the one to disburse it. People that went that went for me went for their own selfishness, lying upon lying upon lying against me. The authority know I have never reported anybody. I have never sent message to anybody. God is my witness. I've never complained about anybody. But they keep on complaining. I stood so low, even to accept shit. Let it, this, this thing work. Let me go and rest. But I don't know what is a man in the heart of a man, but God knows. They keep raising dust from one junction to another, from one junction to another. The more they raise this dust, the more they are making me stronger in the process. And I want to say this. This grant, nobody has taken it and nobody will take it. I'm not boasting. I'm a man on mission. God sent me. Anybody can say anything. It's God who knows who we are. The Lord who sent me to this is supporting me. I am still in charge. But the only difference now is all this accusation. Government decided to make it their grant. They took over. That is where Amasi comes in. To be in charge of the grant. To be reporting to government. To oversee whatever we are going to do. I am still in the system of this grant. If anybody tells you that I'm not there, he's just deceiving you. I'm in charge for your sake. Because I'm the only one that can defend your interests, not any other ones that are pretending to be for the masses. Somebody made a statement from the team that's opposing me. It's better for them to stay two more years as long as it's not Apostle Ken, let me announce to you, you can't remove somebody you did not put in any position. It is God that put me here. And I want to plead to every one of you, lay down your arms, let us get this money. The more you are out, every write-up, every GM, government has intelligence over everywhere. They are hearing it. All these things will not help us. I want to do this program not because of this vineyard that just came out. I've always come to prepare this program to plead to us to be calm. This thing is about entering our hand. We know the last meeting we had and what we were told. Any of this dragging here and there, we are taking more fuels that the government may decide on the parts. And I am not the one to hold responsible. If anything go wrong in the process of this grant, hold all grant pressure group responsible. Because I've never made any trouble. They are the ones creating this trouble. But I'm pleading to all of you partners. Talk to them and be calm. This grant is coming out. Enough of this nonsense. A sick psychopath will come out and insult me anyhow I like. These are people that cannot look at my face and talk. Just because of cheap data and Android phone. Do not pose to be talking as if you are somebody. Ask them what are they doing before Grant? What is their job in Abuja? Where are they living in Abuja? Who is paying the house rent they are living? We've been here since before, many years before Grant. And we are feeding and eating with that Grant. Please, I've taken enough shit. If you're a mature, reasonable man, just ask yourself, what is the secret behind celebration and crying after a day or two? There's something they are deceiving you people. There's a reason they do that all their celebration could not change the instance of what is going on. They came out to rant and to accuse me, to insult me, to show manners of things, even to so insult a gentleman that is laboring for the government of Nigeria, calling him names. I'm 
me have to let Nigerians know that everything always said against the chairman of the development committee, Sam Amasi, is all lying. I'm not saying it because he's an evil, I'm an evil. I'm not saying it because I want to defend him. I'm telling you the truth. The group did not collect such money from us at all. We We did not, they did not extort us. We suffered that in the time past, in the wrong hands. But in these hands, we have never suffered such a thing. That they are the one putting their money, putting their money and time to make things work. They picked us together. It will be quiet so that we can dispose of this money, everybody rest. There are enemies of this grant inside the country, it's, I mean, inside the system. That doesn't want this money to be disbursed. Government is interested to give us this money to live in poverty in Nigeria. The wealth of Nigeria is important to the government and they are willing to do it. Let us stop disturbing the process with all these rantings. Someone just wake up, he took he will take phone because he feel he, he, he can talk, he has data. From 2016 you started talking. What have you achieved? You started taking comrade and titles. What have you achieved? Please, I plead to every one of you, partners, this thing has never happened in Nigeria and it's about to happen. Let's join our forces together to resist the devil. Let this thing come out. I cannot say some things in public domain, but it's only a fool that's open up all his arsenal in the public. God has already settled this in. All we need to do, don't provoke the devil by all these solar ballots. If we can be quiet, we would see this money soon in our hand. I know that after now, a lot of analysis will go. There are people who don't have work. All they have is to post in social media. But be patient. God will put money in your hand. You'll find something to do. So that all this nonsense will be over. But fighting here, fighting here, who is fit to disburse the money? Who is not fit? And I'm mobilizing people, supporters club here and there, to fight that post again. That one stupid person that calls herself a lawyer come to write nonsense about South Southeast. Some of these people, if you ask them where they come from, you will understand who they are. I am a born Omaha person. That's where I come from. I'm a Southeasterner. So anybody buying you to start ranting, it's not doing you good. Besides, I'm not a state co uh, regional coordinator. I'm not. I'm not the regional coordinator of Southeast. Even though they have called me that, no problem. All I want is let this thing happen. So that I can rest. The shoe I'm wearing, if you wear half of it, half leg, you will know what I'm going through. But the Lord has prepared me before now. I beg you, see you, us. You're a leader. Control yourself and control the people. But I've come to the end of all this hula ballo. That is why I decided to come out. Everybody will come, everybody will vision. Let's not on ourselves allow the devil to use us and destroy the blessing that is coming before us. Voice note cannot bring the money. Update cannot bring the money. What will bring the money is quietness for God to finish what he's doing. The, the committee are working their night. All our people that are helping us are committed to this disbursement. But these things are drawing their effort back. And I came out here to talk to you, knowing fully well the authorities are hearing me. I have not instigated problem for the first time. And I want to say now, forgive one another. I am not angry with all, praise, all grand pressure group. They are just doing what they can do. They are just trying to be what they want to be. But I want to say this, I am not fighting anybody. And I want to stand on this to make a comment on the list that was flying this morning. It didn't come from me and I don't have anything to do with that list. I've told you people in this platform 
anybody that registered, duly registered, will surely get this grant. So I'm not using my position to revenge on anybody who may have insulted me or do one other things. That is not my person. So whoever that formed that list, send it out. He just want to throw bomb in the in the ecosystem and create chaos again so that people start fighting each other. I've done more than that. What is it that insulted me? I'm on position to share grant to you. I didn't give you because you insulted me. I'm above that. I'm too big than that kind of nonsense. So I won't do such a thing. This card at least is not coming from me or from anybody. I want to say to you, if you listen to me this morning, this night, I'm not deceiving you. I'm too big to be deceiving people. I've never deceived before. I'm a servant of God, called by God. And I'm doing my work. Everybody around me knows who I am. Forget about people who are far from me, who are who have been paid, paid agents. I like to bring this to your understanding. Look around the people fighting me. You know they all come from the same place. Out of envy. How can it be him? May the Lord give every one of you understanding. We we'll have to fight this battle together by kicking the devil out to tell him where he belongs. We have suffered. For good eight years, Nigeria has been on, hanging on the air for grant. This one is visible and it's about to rain. Please control yourself. And I stand on this platform to say, all you, my lovers, please don't retaliate for me for now. Don't. Oh, she your sword. We don't need noise now. What we need is to allow the committee finish the last thing they need to do now and call upon us for disbursement. I believe God that we're going to hear that good news. Please don't fight for me. Don't fight for me. Even if they rose up now to start fighting, I didn't send anybody to fight for me. God is the one that will finish this work. And it is about to rain. God bless you all. Thank you so much. I will spend a few minutes to hear any question that are relevant and reasonable. I will answer it. But the one that comes out of insult, I will take it. Thank you all. God bless you. Pastor B, God bless you. Pastor B, how you handling everything is the best. Please do not, do not, um, Mm, do not try to fight these people. They are too small for you to fight them. Leave them for us to fight. Leave them for us. Let me make some points clear. Um, all CEOs, I salute you. This AGPGM, they came one time and they told us, they told us that money came into this country without address, without somebody's name on it, that anybody could can dispose this money. Are these guys talking to fools? And I find people, educated men, listening to them and following them, I wonder. So they have people who are PhD and all that, and they are listening, I mean, hearing these guys say things like this. Monies, big monies, came into this country without address, mm. without anybody to receive it. Anybody can disburse. The day I heard that was the day, the day I lost hope completely at uh, AGPG and I don't believe anything they say again. Now, I made up my mind that the day I hear that Apostle Ken just, uh, is saying that he cannot continue again, that day I will sign up from this money, from this thing. I know that it is impossible. But he has been full of strength. He has been, encouraged me. His attitude. Now, he's silent every time, CEOs, let me tell you. He's strategic. He does not need to come out and respond to ABC, every, every voice note. No, he is very busy. We have a duty of believing him. We have a duty. These people have given us so many lights. They have thrown so many lights open to us to use to judge them. They have been so inconsistent in everything they do, everything they say. Because I personally, I, I entered, there was a time, I, they, they, the first time they opened up platform, they said that with, uh, they were going to work with the UAG, and so they invited us for a meeting, I, I joined the, I joined that meeting, and when I came out, when I saw the attitude, I came out of that platform, I am only in, 
you a age clap and not giving you that platform. I don't listen to voice notes. They send this voice note to me that they say that uh, 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 the present the, the present no voice note. It is still lying on my box. I have not downloaded it I, and I will not download it. I will not listen to it because I don't want to hear them because I know what they are talking about and I know the angle they are coming from and I know that they are telling lies. And it pains me when people who are educated listen to this kind of people. CEOs, wise up. Wise up. Wise up. And please, country director. My, my question is this. These people, their attitude will stop. A leopard cannot change to wash off his spots. That's hmm. who they are. If we are looking for peace with these guys, they cannot get it. They will not come for peace. Unless they have been totally beaten down and probably they, 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 they cannot take the shame and come. They know that apparently you will still disgust punish to death. They will not come and ask for peace. They won't. So for us to come to, for us to say we will we want to we want to settle with that you because I, I, I am in your I'm, I'm, I, I, like people say I am in your camp. Yes, I admit it openly. I am I am I am in your camp. For them to say they want to work for us, settle with them. I think uh, it's, it, it's a distraction. Let them do what they want to do. Let them go out what they want to do. What, what they want to do. And what I know from my understanding, from my understanding, not even asking you, not even asking anybody, there is nothing those boys will do that will stop what God has ordained to be. What God will want to do, what they will do. There is nothing those boys can do. It will be a shame on them at that. It will be a shame on them for what they have done. What they, have done. they have refused to listen to Nigeria. They have refused to consider Nigerians, the people that they say they are fighting for. The, a lot of things we know about them, and we don't want to talk. But it's a warning to them. Thank All you, Bob. Stop it. But in this meeting, you are hearing, stop it. If this thing fails, if this thing fails, and we come up. Like it. You will not thank like you, it. Thank you, thank At you, thank you. I will come up right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, UAG. Thank you so much, UAG team. Right on, we are backing you. We are behind you. We are with you. We stand with you. God bless you, Apostle Ken. God bless you, Obi Wan. God bless you, one of you. Thank you so much. That in every in, in, in every room there's an element of truth in it. That doesn't mean that actually there are going to be regional coordinators as um, it is flying all about on social media. That they want the city to address this once and for all. Talking about regional coordinators. Thank you, sir. At this point, what should be important to anybody is disbursement, not administrative issues. The project is grant, empowerment, and developmental projects. In the course of managing these two other things outside grants, that office can be appointed, but not for any CEO of NGO. It's going to be an ordinary person that does not have an NGO. That is what the structure says. So please, every CEO should just remove their eye from that side and face their NGOs and the money coming. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. Uh, country directors, sir. Good evening. Uh, first of all, I want to... Yes, sir. I want to thank God for your life, for the grace that God has given to you. And I know that the grace of God is more sufficient for you to finish this uh, course. It's not easy. Definitely, we know that it's not easy at all for you. for you. And you will win. Very, very soon. But within the space before this month end, you will win. Very, very sure of that. Uh, one thing I want to let these CEOs know is this all the CEOs, we need to wise up. We need to wise up. All Grandpa Dog Group, we have already seen the whole game. We have saw the grit. Because right from time, we have been following them. We know what they said last year, what they have said this year, and we have sought a lot of grief. Either with the time that they have met with some high delegates in the, in the, in the federal capital territory, and they have seen the money involved, and they're just looking at the way, okay, how can we disburse money by ourselves? 
and we have also saw their lies. Do you understand? So let us wise up, let us stay strong. Another thing I'm going to say here is this. It is expedient that all CEOs lock their platforms. Let us lock our platform. I don't know the 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 inflows of data of nonsense in so many platforms is just too much. Lock your platform. What are they saying in those platforms that so that all these voice notes will not be popping into your platform any longer? Once they make the voice note in their platform, um, some of, or some people in your platform, they are in their platform. The, your platform is locked. They are not at me. They cannot post the voice note in your platform. Do you understand? That's one of the things I'm going to suggest here. We should all lock our platform. Let's forget the five or that and I just wait for this first minute. And I want to let us see, you know, let's team up together. There's something that is striking that I got to know tonight is this. If anything happened to these guns, all gun pressure will be all responsible and we will follow them up. We will follow come with a do of that that we will pass up Felix and Ipaton and uh, what's it called, Chris and all of that. It will be useless all way. The useless all way. We will follow them up and we will get to wherever the key that they get to. So let them begin to do whatever they feel like doing. But let all this. All right, thank you. You can hear the speech of the country director. Nobody, I can promise this even without the country director. The UAG team management, nobody is planning to humiliate anybody. But you get to a level in life that a man will pursue you, you enter your house. He still pursue you, enter your house. You close the door now, make you do as many things you want. Please, the point I'm making is this. Like Olade said, we don't want it to reach to the point of fighting. By the special grace of God, I know the level of support we have with the CEOs. If, for adventure, we are not genuine, we should have, before now, incited all the CEOs to go against AGPGN. But this is our brothers. This is our sisters. We all started this thing at the same time. So, but the most important thing that is critical now, every CEO listening, government want to see the unity of the people they want to give money. Government want to see the CEOs that they want to give money. I know that His Excellency Apostle Dr. Ambassador Ken Wakama may not tell you this, but I want to tell you, if he want to suspend me, let him suspend me. If we are not careful, believe you me, this money might be locked. So what do we need to do? Reject every G note. It is the CEOs that are the means that are forwarding it. Reject every post. We don't want humiliation. We don't want war. Money doesn't like noise. I still keep saying it. Money doesn't like noise. That's why they don't play music in the bank. Let us just leave it and stay very united. I tell you from the very day, some of you are not understanding when I say hold the circle. Some of you are not understanding when I say you are the real stakeholders. All those words are coded words we used and paddle this canoe to this level. And that's why I told you people, TTT knows a lot. We are not playing. But we decided to be behind the scene. So every CEO, you have known the truth. Except you are saying what you are hearing here is not the truth. But even with the truth, please, both Abdu and the AGPG and everybody, everybody is 
welcomed. But what we are saying is that all this front and back ought to stop this night. I'm saying it before the CD. I've suffered so much. I have received so much bullets, spiritually and physically. I don't want to talk about his own. His ministry is not my ministry. He has a Joshua ministry. Me, I have Paul ministry. Go and look for Paul. Go and look at Paul. Paul respects authority but doesn't fear authority. I have respect for everybody, but I don't have one single fear. So the whole CEOs, if you want this thing to happen in days, in week, you must go away from dividing the house. Apostle Ken, I have never one day come to us here and say, see you, I want you to support me, Apostle Ken. If anybody said that, please, I will resign. We have maintained balance. But when you give a little opportunity to people to make themselves and they tested money, and if you know we can go a mile for that, that's exactly what is happening. I told you last meeting, this thing was cooked far back in October 2023. We are not trying to intimidate, humiliate, segregate, divide anybody but we want a new united partners if you're here with us you're here if you're not with us here then we throw you out when this boss comments we know how far please i will only give three more people chance so that we can close this meeting yes, i don't need to use that word but i'm i'm so I'm that we disburse the grant eventually and they say that they are not going to disburse to my corporate team so be it I am not an hungry person and I don't put my life, I don't put my life on lies. You are the same set of people calling for Nigerians to bring the POP of money that has been paid to us to get. What about money that was paid to you? When you, when those people got to Abuja, when they were sleeping on that bridge, yes. do you know how many money, do you know how much money has gone to AGPGN if we ask them, if we ask their account to be scrutinized can they can they come out clean nigerians let us think if a pressure group suddenly becomes or turn themselves to be the grand handler then you should know that there is something fishy this set of people are a greedy set of people that they maybe they cut them and they are trying to remove move the person that is legitimately in charge of this disbursement and putting themselves and if you think that people like Admihelis or what have you, they are God, or they are people that you should believe, Admihelis doesn't have a good record. Go and look at him from the beginning. If we, if we, if we, if we, if we support this grand Adler today, speak good of this person. If it's noticed that he doesn't see what he wanted from this guy, if he turn 360 degrees and support another person. If HPGN fails today, the same Admiralis will come back to you and come and tell you that he want them not to do this, he want them not to do that, he want them not to do that, and it's turning 360 degrees. Nigeria, CEO, let us think. We are not in, as in Banana Republic. We are not in Banana Republic. If HPGN know that they have the authority to devote this money, they should not wait till this end. They shouldn't have waited till this time. What were they waiting for? Why did they not have this person? Why shouldn't that be? Sorry, I don't even know what to say. But please, just let me just hang up. But please, pray that I mean, that I mean, God will help you. There is no mortal man on earth that is perfect. Even the Bible says that we should walk towards perfection. We are not saying that you are perfect, but the perfection no. of God will make you and we embrace you to be able to deliver this mandate. And I pray that God will touch the heart of the government to release this money. But CEOs, let us together hold on and for years. It's much more better than the angel that is promising you heaven and earth. Let us. God bless us all.